what's up guys welcome back to my channel i just got into a new hotel i'm currently in london but um i just want to take a quick look at the charts with you this is going to be a super fast video but we're in a pretty interesting place on the chart so i want to talk to you about that um let's get into it just apologize for i don't have the proper setup where i am because i literally only just got in here so apologies if the audio isn't great and the screen isn't great and whatnot but what is more important is i want to talk to you about this price action so well, hopefully we can put all of those things aside now let me just backtrack i like to backtrack uh it is to what price has done so far just for the purpose of education so that the next time you see something like this you recognize it so i am on the 15 minute time frame it is monday which as we know the start of the week starts with a fake move to stop out the weekend traders so if we go back to the close of us last week i always try to encourage you to build this habit of placing a box around the weekend price action at around the candle closes um, let me just edit this box. And then once you've identified where the lows were over the weekend and where the highs were, you look for spikes out of that box that give you a hint of who's trapped. So immediately you can see here that there was this wick to the downside and it was a large, well, it's not, well, it doesn't look large now, but at the time it would have looked like a large red vector. So considering price consolidated here for a day pretty much, as this move came down and whilst this candle was open, at some point in time, it looked like a full red candle before it closed. It would have looked something like this. That is the kind of candle that people FOMO short on and don't want to miss a move, etc. And so this is the exact type of candle that traps traders into a position in the wrong direction and also it triggers any pending orders so let's just say on the weekend you drew your support line here and you decided if the move breaks this line it might be fast and you don't want to miss it so you put in a sell stop just below that the market maker will send price just below that support line because they know that retail do this and then they close back up within the zone now your short is triggered it does not hit anywhere for you to take profit and you get trapped until they're ready to make the bigger move and now you can see here that the trap move towards the end of the weekend was to the upside so a big move like that a stopped out anyone who was short here stopped or liquidated depending on whether you know they had stop losses or not uh, but if you were a 100x trader you would have been liquidated in this move and then they make a run up fast and that fast move gets people to FOMO in long positions the other way as soon as it breaks what they would have drawn as weekend resistance or resistance during this weekend so you can see here it shoots out fast with a big green candle and now not only has that stopped out these people who went short it has trapped people who went long then they fast make the fast move the other way so the weekend trap was this move here which always leads to a one day minimum one day trend the other way so usually what follows that uh, weekend fake move is an M formation or a W depending on which way the trend is going to run following that fake move and we can see here that this was the M formation following the M formation we break the 50 EMA with volume these are the rules of the trade and if you get something different which you can get then you don't trade it's simple as that so luckily this followed the rules of the trade we broke the 50 EMA with a volume high volume candle we came back to retest the retest can either retest the 50 ema or it just can create a higher low it can you know rebalance a previous vector or something like that but at the end of the day it creates a lower high in comparison to the m formation so this ticks the box of that then you would expect level two drop to come from there which we have now had now the tricky thing about this is with this entire move that is like pretty much a typical Monday move, usually we see a trend change at the UK changeover. So uh, Asia over UK, when that um, session opens, we usually see a trend change there. Or if we don't, we see it in US. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the UK, I believe they had a bank holiday today. Yes, Europe has a bank holiday today. So when you have bank holidays, you don't typically, you don't expect 
expect the typical behavior to happen. So UK usually runs a trend, as we can see here, we just consolidated all of UK session. That would be because it's a bank holiday. So you would not have expected the you know, W formation to complete this move to have happened from Asia into UK. I actually was looking for it myself because I didn't realize it was a bank holiday until I uh, saw the comments in Discord. So thank you to the community for pointing that one out because when you're on the road, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything, to be honest with you. But um, here we are. Anyway, now we're in US and US has just opened. Could you say that this here is a W formation? Well, I mean, you, you could. Uh, the only issue I have with that is that if it were to be a W formation, we don't have a level three drop yet. So usually following an M formation, you will have three drops. You can see here I've circled one and two and you know they're drops that bring in high volume and we've just been consolidating ever since then. So I don't really think that this is the W formation, even though that's a stopping volume candle. If we look at it, well, actually it was really not that much of a volume spike was it it wasn't that much of a volume spike to be a stopping volume candle look look at this though we do have rising interest rising interest and consolidating price that usually means that they do not need to issue a stop hunt before they make their next move it does not mean trend change however so it could be that we just fall away from here and get level three the other thing too that i just want to point out is these two liquidation levels are still here now another thing to let you know is that this they, we had two liquidation levels up here before the fake move. They were at 29.673 and 29.964. Uh, and in that move up, that we took out both of them. There is another one at 30,200. And, and then, you know, there is higher than that, but it's not worth talking about. So they did come for these two, which is just another hint, you know, to look for an M formation once they do hit liquidation levels. And now they've reversed and it's potent, there's still potential for them to come for the lower two. And that's at 28,200 and 27,950. Now, the other thing too about that is when we have a look at the heat maps, we've been keeping an eye on this in the discord really for a couple of days now because these orders have been sitting here for a while but if you have a look at this red line that runs across here and i'm going to expand that just so that you can see what's actually going on the snapshot that you see that is from candles that have passed and closed that is a snapshot of the orders that were left behind that didn't get triggered before that candle closed. So this here is on the four hour uh, time frame. So when you see 1.2K, that means when that four hour candle closed, there was still 1.2K worth of orders at 28,000. So that, that's what they mean on the heat map. Um, and as you guys know, as it gets more into the red zone, that is the higher the order the way that i've set up my personal settings and so you can see here that since the 27th of april uh it's actually been growing uh, it you know it's kind of been fluffing on and off but then from the 29th of april we hit 1.1 and now today in this current candle we're at 1.3 so there are definitely people expecting more of a drop than where we are right now and wanting to buy at 28,000. 1.3k is nothing to ignore so if price does head down towards this area and those orders stay there I would say that's where we're gonna get level three drop and that's where this move will finish. Now, the only thing that's gonna make me think we're not going to get that move would be a strong break of the 50 EMA, a successful retest, uh, something that looks like strong kind of hammers and things like that at the retest, then I would expect that we're gonna go to the upside and probably rebalance this candle here. I'm really not hopeful of that move, but like I said, this one move to the downside or one move on a Monday usually only lasts one day. And I believe if we didn't have a bank holiday, we would have hit our level three and it would be over already. But the bank holiday changes things. So you just have to be ready to adapt to that and set your rules. So my rules for this trade is I am currently short. I scalp longed this move when I saw the breakout on the weekend. The reason I did that 
was because if I zoom out on this area, it's actually better to see on the one hour. So let me show you there. On the one hour, I just saw this as such a typical weekend retail trap trade. On the one hour, what we had going on was, oh, how did I draw it? I think I drew it. I think I drew it something like this, a symmetrical triangle. And I don't normally trade weekends, but I saw this. And when you get a typical retail pattern that is just too perfect on a weekend, it's very, very obvious what they're trying to do. So this was definitely a scalp move out uh, long position. If you are a regular of this channel, you will know that I've been saying take profit of 30K until 30K breaks because that seems to be where they are selling from. Uh, so that was a really nice scalp up to 30K. Then as you saw on the lower time frames, uh, it gave us an M formation. Um, by the way, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, I hope this is making sense. I am just throwing a lot of information at you, so I do apologize for that. But if you stick with it, you'll, you'll start to understand this method over time. And the great thing about it is is it's it's you can time it pretty much so you know if you don't have a lot of time to trade you kind of understand when the market makers are on duty and you just turn up for that you know so that's what I love most about this method it allows me to travel it allows me to set aside an hour or two a day to have a look at the charts I know the exact time that I need to be on the charts I know when it's going to move I can get my trade out of the way and go live my life so anyway I don't know how we ended up there but <laughs> we did so much for fast update but anyway so the conditions now for that um, as I mentioned there was a little scalp there in formation drop one drop two I am expecting another and I am looking for that 28k kind of region to create the W formation and the only thing that will change my mind at this point in time is if we don't go down there as somehow this turns around I you know I honestly can't see it because right now if if you look at what traders are trapped in order for them to move to the upside, it's only this here in, in the very bottom end of this wick. So I would expect that, you know, there's there's more to go. And, you know, like I said, the only thing that would change my mind on that would be a strong break of the 50 EMA, a successful retest that kind of holds a higher low and then we move out. But that would be dependent on us not returning to these wicks at all. If they return to these wicks, they're releasing traders. And so therefore they don't change trend. They don't release traders and change trend because they need to keep the traders trapped before they shift out because they need that liquidity they need to hit their liquidations and their stop losses they can only do that if retail stays in an open position so I hope this made sense I am trying to simplify things as much as I can and the more I listen to myself speak I realize I've made this one really complicated so smash up the like button if you understood at least one sentence and um, leave me a comment with your thoughts below I'm going to try and get this video out as fast as possible uh, just quickly before I let you go there are a lot of news events this week so jump onto forexfactory.com forward slash calendar I'll do some more updates this week before we get to them but we are past the ISM manufacturing now there's not another one until UK time or London time tomorrow 3 p.m so anyway we'll keep an eye on this stuff the liquidation also we are at a, a basically a a net delta of zero so uh, this does mean market making can go anyway because there's liquidity either side to traps so you know it does make sense we've got a, a bit more of a cluster down here everything kind of lines up to more downside with those heat map 28k it makes sense but you always have to trade what you see it does look like we're coming down now and um yeah here we go we're about to um we're about to release them but yeah you always trade what you see if the if the price action shows you something different which would be a break of the 50 ema volume then you change your bias but other than that stay short have an amazing day and uh i will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.